Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Underreal Expedition with me, Bring It On. I want to apologize if my audio settings are any different. I updated my computer yesterday and it messed with my microphone settings. But hopefully everything's okay. Okay. Off balance, anticoagulation. Alright, well, I'll use dodge or evasion anyway because I'm a, I'm a man. <laughs> Alright, let's move back a little bit. I wonder if he has any blood draining attacks then. If he increases the uh, effectiveness of blood draining attacks. Might sprint to get even further away. There we go. Then we'll zip all the way over here. Uh oh. Hmm. I don't know what I should do. Alright. Oh, I don't like that one bit. That was an awful attack. Uh. Yeah, let's book it, I guess. heal up and then uh kill him hopefully awesome all right well that was a nasty enemy now looking forward to fighting more of those again i don't have to go this way but uh i'm going to even if it costs me my life which it I have to fight two of those guys it <laughs> As I was saying, if I have to fight two of these guys at once, I'm probably going to die. Oh, hey, I'm immune to burning, so I'm just going to run to the other side of this. You guys can run through the... F well, or you can run around it. Whatever. I'm actually going to run this way and avoid them all together. I know I took some damage there, that's fine. I think I'm just gonna leave. I don't think I should be here yet. Oh, he's oh he's chasing me. All right, let's get out of here. Wasted a Molotov for nothing. But if I survive, then it's okay. Yeah. Nope. Not enough action points. Oh boy. Well, that was awful. Okay, let's uh, bandage up and continue our journey to Junkyard. Which I keep trying to say Junk Town. I think that's the name of a town in uh, Mad Max. That's why I keep thinking that. Might also be a name of a town in Fallout. The original Fallouts. Oh, I see. This area connects to that area. Archie. Oh, is this? Oh, is this junkyard? I do not remember. Yeah, so they, this is the path I didn't take. Also, so Tanner gave me a bunch of money to buy the uh, thing that I need, and I spent all of it. So, let's talk to Archie. The man waves you away with his left hand, displaying that two of his fingers, his pinky and his ring finger, are not attached anymore. 
Sorry, Jack. There ain't no room here if you came to fish. Uh, what is this place? You haven't been here before, eh? The place is called Junkyard. It ain't your typical station or nothing like that. Like Southgate or Rail, or rail Crossing. Nothing like that. We ain't got no laws. We ain't got no militia. So tread carefully and try not to step on any toes. Especially those of Black Eels or Scrappers. They're the two biggest gr gangs, and between them, they control most of the junkyard. You mess with them, you end up in one of them scrap compactors. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Got any more advice? He shrugs. Let people fish in peace. Uh, what are you fishing for? White eels, of course. They are delicious. And if I catch more than I need, I can always sell the rest to Kareem's bar. They got eel sandwiches there, and they make them pretty good. So leave me to my fishing. Uh, what happened to your fingers? Ran out of fishing bait. <laughs> you stare at each other in silence. He's the first to break it. <laughs> nah, scavenging accident. I was at one of them uh, BioCore facilities when a security bot shot me. Blew off these two fingers of mine, but nothing else. I can't say I envy you. Uh, where did that happen? Was it somewhere close? Nah, that happened somewhere near Core City. Long time ago. Long story. Look, can I fish now? Uh, you mentioned Kareem's bar. What can you tell me about it? It's a bar and the owner's name is Kareem. Yep. <laughs> Where can I find it? Eh. He points his hand toward the entrance to Junkyard. Once you get past the gate, go west. The bar is right behind J Johan Scrap Pile. Johan Scrap Pile? You ask a lot of questions. You'll see for yourself, Jack. Alright, I'll be going. He nods. Yep. Bye. Alright. Let's head on inside. Can I go in here? Nope. Alright, to Junkyard. Where dialogue awaits. So Black Eel thugs. Scrapper thugs. Some commoners. Try the eels, they're good for you. The mushroom sauce is good though. Okay. What's up, dog? Is he taking me somewhere? No. Okay. Lenny the cook. What's up, man? What is it? Alright, well. Abram? He just wheezes through his mask, refusing to converse with you. Nice to meet you too, Abram. Alright, Kareem. A large man with a scruffy bush of a beard stands at the counter, smelling of foul food and booze. He speaks in a deep, rumbling voice, and you can't quite tell if he's in a bad mood or just bored. Now, what can I get you, Jack? Well, what do you have for sale? Three food stuff. I have food stuff somewhere. Sure, you can have that and these. I'm holding to some of the food stuff. Yeah, sure, have that. There you go. Well, let's talk to him. Let's see. Merchants here only accept Stygian coins. How do I get some of those? Black Yells at the docks are willing to exchange some currencies. At terrible rates, that is. I uh, got any real food? Doesn't get any more real than this. Uh, what exactly goes into this junkyard surprise? It's a surprise. Is it a nice surprise? Could be. <laughs> heard any good rumors? I heard something about that weasel Grover owing some money to Silas and not being able to repay. I figure Black Yells will be coming for him soon, so you better steer clear of him. Uh, can you tell me a bit about junkyard? The main thing you want to know is that there are two major gangs here. Scrappers, who control the depot and all the junk that's being scavenged from the old junkyard, and Black Eels, who control the docks and the shipment of said junk. Everyone else who lives here has to pay protection money to one of those gangs. The more shinies you have in your pocket, the more you have to pay. There are smaller gangs here and there, but they don't mess with the big boys, and instead just harass those who cannot pay protection money. Or random travelers, like you. Uh, what's the old junkyard? It's also called Depot A. It's a closed off section of the junkyard where some sort of accident happened a long while back they released mutagen into the environment. 
It's a scary place now, but scrappers still send in scavenging parties regularly to recover more valuable stuff to sell. Okay. K2? What's up, Kimmy? A young woman, thin as a rail, is re replanting a prickly plant into a new pot. Her stare is directed toward the plant, but it seems like her attention is not. One careless move is followed by a swear. She grabs her punctured finger, frowning and swearing some more, and it is at that point that she notices you. I'm Kimmy. Need some shrooms or plants? Well, show me what you have. More plants or fungi? Eh, I'm not worried about that. I'll take it. I'm not going to use it for anything else. Alright, uh, let's see. Would you happen by ch would you happen to by chance have an armadillo class drill rotor circuit board? Does it look like I have one, Jack? I got nothing but plants. You should ask Johan regarding that sort of junk. He's the guy by the pile of junk. Uh, what kinds of mushrooms and plants do you sell here? Mine shrooms, lake shrooms, lake poppies, that sort of thing. What about these things? The prickly ones. Cacti? Those are not for sale. I mean, they're for someone else. Should come for them soon, I think. Uh, how about flower? How about flowers other than lake poppies? Got any of those? Not the moment. Sorry, Jack. You know it's rare stuff, and besides, there ain't much demand for decor decorative stuff around here, except maybe the Union Embassy. Uh, what can you tell me about the Embassy? Ask someone else about that, or go north and see for yourself. Now buy on something or not? Alright, I'll see you later. What's up, K2? The dog tilts its head inquisitively and stares at you. Woof. It begins to growl. Back away slowly. Uh, sit, boy. It begins to growl. Alright, how about... Play dead? Nope, alright. Well, let's talk to, uh, Kendrick. I've got some nice hunting gear if you want to take a look, stranger, and a bunch of other random stuff I scavenged. Well, what do you got? Steel spear, hurricane crossbows, curved steel machete, lockpick, probably worth grabbing. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to focus on just trying to get some riot gear while I'm here. Oh, what is he trying to buy? Three traps, three melee weapons, so you can have that, this, and this. Uh, regular bolts, you can have those as well. And in exchange, I will take the spear blueprint. That's about fair. I'll take it. Alright, so what do I need to make a spear? Metal, shaft... Oh, I don't have any spear shafts. Or any metal on hand at that. Alright, uh, would you happen to by chance have an armadillo class drill rotor circuit board. That is a mouthful. I don't know what that is, son, but I'm pretty sure I ain't have none of that. Uh, any idea who might have some drill parts around here? Well, you could try the depot to the west, or maybe the docks there to the east. You'll find all sorts of junk there. Uh, what's there to hunt in the nearby caves? Rat hounds and hoppers, mostly. Then beetles, too, but they taste terrible. I was really hungry once and had to eat a, eat a, eat a bit of it. The only part you can actually eat is the brain. First, when you take a bite, it ain't so bad. But then, as soon as you catch one of them, thin blue veins and they burst and spill out. Ugh, so bitter. I could taste it in my mouth for weeks. Alright. Well, it seems like he's the guy to talk to to progress the quest. There's Len in here. There's Grover, he owes money.
Nice, some more propaganda. A dirty rag. Right, let's go talk to Len real quick. Actually, let's see what's in this dumpster real quick. Alright, Len, what's up? Well, yeah. Welcome to my little shop, stranger. Looking for some weapons or armor? Uh, would you, to happen by any chance, have a armadillo class drill rotary circuit board? Nope, I mostly just sell weapons. You should hit the depot with the docks for that stuff. Did I say depot? Or did I say depot? It's depot. Uh, where's the depot? Uh, just to the west, Jack. Look for a slacker called Gort. He might have what you need. Uh, where are the do where are the docks? Uh, to the east, Jack. You can't miss it. Well, I'll catch you later. Actually, no, wait. I need to see what he has for sale. Oh, yeah, he sells riot armor. And steel armor. A groin guard. Hmm. There we go. I want this. I can afford it. I should probably trade him for stuff. He wants bolt shells, regular bolts, things of that nature. So let's uh, put it in favor of me. How many firearms? Two firearms? And what else does he have? Let me get some more stuff out of him. Solid padding steel helmet. Chance to get quickly hit by a weapon. Unarmed attacks reduced by. Alright, we'll take that for now. Let's uh, learn our. Alright, riot gear. Let's see. Carrier vests, ballistic panel. Does he sell a carrier vest for me? No. It's all firearm stuff. Let's see if he has a... Uh, insulated riot overcoat with steel shield. 35 chance to block up to 33 points mechanical melee damage. So it's going to reduce my ranged damage threshold. By 100%. But it will give me the shield that I want to use. That's if I want to grab that yet or not. I guess we'll worry about it off camera. I'll decide later. Let's talk to Johan. Looking for some scrap? I got you covered. Well, what do you have for sale? Foam padding, stuff like that. I was hoping for a spear shaft. Alright, what else you got? Oh, what do you happen to... Alright, does he have a the circuit board we're looking for? I don't know, maybe. I don't have too much electronics right now, but take a look anyway. You might find it. But no refunds. It won't be my fault if you uh, buy the wrong thing. Does he have it? I didn't see it. Man, it didn't look very hard either, but... Nope, okay. Alright, let's go talk to Grover real quick, get involved in his quest, I'm sure. The man greets you with a face as expressive as a rock wall. He glances at you, then speaks. I ain't in the mood to chat. Alright, well, never mind then. So maybe we get involved with the uh, the black eels and come in. Come and take the money from him, or fight him for it or something.
Oh, there's Vince. Don't want to talk to Vince yet? Ah, one it man steps in front of you, crossing his arms and spreading his legs slightly apart. Simultaneously, he addresses you with a light, raspy voice. Put it right there, Jack. This alley here belongs to us. You want to pass through, you gotta pay a one-time fee. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what's the fee? It's five Sharons. Uh, I'm not paying you anything, you mangy street rat. Now step aside before I turn your brain into graffiti. You are either very brave or very stupid, Jack, threatening me on my home turf. I don't need to be brave. I've got enough firepower to blow you and your little cardboard city to upper under rail. I'll be passing through here now unless you want a demonstration. His stare is nothing but anger, but after exchanging it with his comrades, he motions you to pass. You good to pass. Yeah, that's what I thought, little punk. I'm not somebody you want to mess with. What's up, Catherine? A young, slender, tall redhead stands before you. She addresses you with a rather thick accent. I see you ain't from around here, Slick. I'm Catherine, and I run this little shop. You here looking for some electronics, maybe? Yeah, what do you got? P mine. Repair kit. It's possible she has what I'm looking for. Ooh, Hacks are marked too. Let's grab that and the lockpick mark too. Now, what do you want? Five electronic parts and. Oh, the blueprints. Alright, so I don't have anything to. I'll just take that. I guess I'm gonna swap out the Haxers. Let's see here. Where's my other Haxer at? There we go. Can okay, I sell you my current Haxer? No, she doesn't want it. Alright, let's talk to her. Uh, let's see, yeah, do you have the Armadillo class drill rotor motor circuit board? No drill parts, sorry. Ain't got anything of the kind. Could look fine in it though. That junk's old. I've only ever seen one. Yeah, one Armadillo. And that thing was stripped down to the bone. All the way to the bone, Slick. Uh, any hints as to where I should look? Well, uh, I mean, you can try the bigger junk merchants at the docks and the, uh, and the Depot B. If that fails, there might be somewhere in Depot A, but it ain't worth risking your neck. What's so bad about Depot A? Rabid and mutated dogs for starters. That much I know myself. Granted, I've never been too far in, but those who have a return in one piece claim there are also rogue turrets, minefields, and even mutated folks in there. All sorts of freaking dangerous stuff. If you really want to check it out for yourself, you're going to have to convince scrappers to let you in, because the entrance to Depot A is, well, it is from within their base. Yeah, I want to ask you something else. How come your store is here in the slums? This is the only building I could get my hands on. And it ain't that bad, Slick. Like, seriously. There ain't r any really comfortable places to live in Junkyard, unless you're one of the wealthier merchants with a place in the residential district, or a high-ranking gangster. So how's life in the slums? For me, it's alright. I make enough coin from trading with the local customers and folks from the outside. Yeah, it's alright. But for those poor saps out there, it must be terrible. They're surrounded by heavily armed men from all sides. They can do little to protect themselves. I mean, it's bad enough they gotta keep an eye out for their neighbors that might knife them in their sleep for a piece of cave hopper meat, or an eel, or some petty coin. Or just cause they derailed. But gangsters and thugs also sweep in from time to time to take whatever they fancy. The Protectorate promises to bring the Union laws and protection, but so far nothing has changed. Nothing. Lots of hobos just take to the caves instead, spelunking around, and maybe they write in doing so. Heck, they might not find more safety, but at least there's more food to be found out there. Okay. She doesn't have what I'm looking for either. Let's keep... Colmire? How do you do? You see an elderly, dried-up man eating some raw mushrooms, taking them one by one from his palm until it is completely empty of everything but a thick layer of hardened skin. He stares at you, still chewing through the last mushroom, and after swallowing it, he speaks. Hey, stranger. I can see you're not from around here. He pauses and his stare wanders around, then he continues. Might you by any chance be interested in a little business proposition? 
Uh, what did you have in mind, old timer? He beckons you closer. I didn't always live in a tent, you know. I used to live in the residential area to the east. Really, I did. I lived in a comfy house on the east side. Oh yeah. But one day, I couldn't pay protection money to the eels anymore, so they kicked me out. Heartless bastards. However, I'm not going to waste your time with my sob story. No. The important bit is that I know a secret way back into my old home. And I also know that its, cur that its current occupant has quite a bit of coins lying around there. So you'll tell me how to get in there in exchange for a cut of the profits. What, do you think I'm thick? I have no way of making you give me any of that money after the job is done. The only thing I want is for you to get my lucky knife. It's got to be lying around somewhere in there. The knife won't be of much use to you, since it's not a particularly good knife for combat. But it's of sentimental value to me. Do you dig? What do you say? We got a deal? Yeah, deal. Now tell me how to get in there. Great. So about getting in. Obviously, you could try the front door if you think you can hack the lock, but it's also being watched by the eels. The smart thing to do would be... The smart thing to do would be to go to the docks and look for the small shack north of the berths. He nods. The rocks between the shack and the cave wall can actually be dislodged there without breaking a sweat. He looks skinny enough to squeeze through. I'm not saying you're a squeezer, mind you. Just that you're thin enough. That's all. That'll give you access to a tunnel that will lead you straight into the mushroom garden in my old house. I discovered this passage one day when I found a stinking rat hound messing up my shrooms. Never got around to sealing it off. Speaking of that, there might still be rat hounds in there, so tread carefully. Okay, got us another quest. Now, is there a named person over here? I don't remember. No. Let's talk to Vince. Let's talk to Teresa. Snipping's bad for your health, Jack. Okay, that's fair enough. Oh, what's up, Fixer? This doctor's suit is covered with dried blood and other foul stains, its smell matching its appearance. As you come near, he slowly turns to you, inspecting your body for wounds with wild eyes which seem if the, as if they're about to pop out of their sockets. Contrary to his stare, his voice is slow and steady. Feel in pain? I can fix you. Yeah, let's see what he has. Jalen shot. Other stuff. Okay. Mm, health hypo hypos, not hapos. Health hypos might be worth grabbing. What does he want? Medical components and organs. Alright, we'll do that trade. Is this my chemical pistol? Uh, I'm not going to use a chemical pistol, so I don't care about that. Alright, let's talk to him. Uh, show, show me where it leaks. Ha, huh. uh, what's behind the fence? A United Nations Embassy. Hence all these folks in front of it. Uh, what's the deal with all the people outside the Embassy? United Nations are helping the junkyarders in need. They're giving out food and clothes. Food. That certainly brought, bought their affection. Quite cheap, though, but then folks got next to nothing, so it makes sense. You don't like the United Nations? Never said that. I also benefit from their generosity. But what I said is true. Them guys ain't stupid. They ain't... Ha. Huh. I can ask you a few questions about junkyard. Ha. Huh. No. Why not? I know where it's headed. Okay. Hi, right, Hopper Jim. Right, where does this take me? I'm curious. Is this, is this still junkyard? In this direction? We'll stop. We'll go back and talk to like Geezer Jim and everything. All right, what is this area? Something like that. Let's go talk to Geezer Jim and Hop or Hopper Jim and Geezer Ford. 
I don't know what I'm gonna eat today. All right, never mind. Geezer Ford. You come up to an old fisherman, wearing an old jacket and rubber boots. A simply clothed man watches his rod with great focus and pays no attention to you. Uh, greetings, old man. The man silences you with a swift gesture of his hand, for his prey is about to bite. The float disappears under the surface, and the rod bends downward. The fisherman grasps it tightly, yanking the rod as if he was expecting to pull a sunken ferry out of the depths. Soon enough, a small, light bluish eel flies through the air and ends its journey in the man's raw-boned hand. Disappointed, he unhooks the fish with a single motion and gently releases it back into the water, in which it happily disappears. One of the two men standing nearby begins laughing, but immediately stops before his and the old fisherman's stairs meet, uh, instead shifting his view to his own rather steady float. The old geezer then resets the rod, and his few steps back and forth reveal a limp in his left leg. Then, he turns to you. Who the hell are you? Um, nice catch. He turns to the left side of his head. He turns the left side of his head toward you and leans closer, mouth wide open. Didn't catch that. Could you speak up? Speak to yourself. Yeah, you didn't catch anything good today. You stop mumbling, son, and speak up. I said, nice catch. What? That thing? He laughs. That ain't good enough to feed a cat, son. If you're trying to act nice, then don't. If you're trying to make fun of me, then go stick your head in a siphoner's rear. You dig? I... I didn't mean it in a bad way. Anyway, could I ask you a couple of questions? What questions? Uh, about fishing. He takes a look at his motionless float. The water ain't good right now. I suppose I could spare a few moments. Uh, very good. I'm Bron Don, by the way. Geezer Ford. That's what the folks around here call me. But for you, I'm Mr. Ford. Uh, I got it, Mr. Ford. Yeah, go ahead now. Ask your questions. How where'd you get that limp? That ain't a fishing-related question. It is if you got it while you were fishing. He pauses. Ah, gotcha. But it ain't due to no fishing. My one leg is just shorter. I was born that way. There you go, son. You got that one? Uh, so how's the water here? In general, I mean. Well, it might seem stupid to someone looking from afar. Like, what in hell's goddamn railroad are those slackers doing by that muddy puddle? But listen, there's an underwater tunnel connecting to a whole system of caves which are full of them- full of- full of them eels. He looks toward the tent and points it to the man standing by the barrel. See that ugly yo-yo there? His name's Hopper Jim. Quaker at heart. Centipedes, spiders, and all kinds of bugs scare the living ooze out of him. But man, can he fish like a spawn of siphoner? He caught a 50 kilo eel right here. Mm-hmm. Alright, go on. Now, it wasn't a regular old blue eel. It was a red behemoth with a yellow stripe on its side. I'd never seen anything like it before. Now that's a catch. And I, being the best fisherman in the whole underrail, south underrail definitely, ain't gonna let some someone like Hopper Jim outdo me. Now what happened to the red eel? He leans forward, mouth open. What you say? I said, what happened to the red eel... What happened to the red eel hopper Jim caught? He sold it to one of the northerner's wimps. United Stations feller. He weighed less than, in, than that eel, he laughs. Don't know how much he got for it. The bastard wouldn't tell. I think it'd be hanging on some wall now, far as I heard. You think you're the best fisherman in Underrail? You? Yeah. He squints at you with one of his eyes while the other one sharpens up. Something bothering you, son? Well, Hopper Jim seems to be a better fisherman than you. What? Hopper Jim ain't a better fisherman than Geezer Ford? You little hopper son of a rail? What do you know, huh? Cause you sure sound like you think you're some kind of big shot. Yeah. Talking to me? Geezer Ford like that? You don't... you don't think you're better than me, eh? Maybe I am. Oh, so you think you're better than me. Alright, alright. Prove it. Prove it, son. How do you want me to prove it? He turns silent as his mind retreats to envision an appropriate challenge. Eventually, it emerges with one. I bet you can even do the southern tour. I could. His suspicious eyes begin to burn you. Do you even know what, the, what a southern tour is? Well... He explodes with laughter. It's echoes so loud you feel it manages to reach every ear in Junkyard. It ain't nothing if you've never done a southern tour, son. A southern tour is when you fish for one of each kind in south, south underrail. Now, we ain't talking about one-of-a-kind stuff, like them red eels and stuff, but the more common species. That don't mean it's gonna be easy. Now, I ain't gonna ask of you to catch exactly every kind of fish there is. That'd take too long. 
I ain't gonna wait a year for a sorry excuse for a fisherman such as yourself to fish them all out. I bet you can bring me one of each of these. Panopus, Slack Jaw, Mini Head, Black Dragon, Phantom Jelly, Ghost Face, Angler Fish, Demon Squid, Shrimp, Walking Fish. If you're good enough to do that, if you're even a remotely decent fisherman, I'm gonna reveal one of my fishing tricks. One that I've never told anyone. Anyone. Uh, I, I bet you I can catch them all. Just like Pokemon. Then do it. Then do it. But if you lose, you gotta get around Junkyard and say, Mr. Ford is the best fisherman in the whole South Underrail, while I blow harder than two puffer fishes mating. Deal. Deal. Now you better hurry up unless you want to die of old age. Go. Alright, goodbye Mr. Ford. Alright, so I just got a fishing quest. Alright, got a handful of stuff to do. So next episode we'll probably go in here. Um, then we'll probably go to the uh, embassy and turn in the uh, papers that I brought. Trade papers or whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.